Welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud on VMware ESXi. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, before we start, let me tell you like uh, we are, I'm going to show you this uh, tutorial which is based on uh, SXC 670 version. Okay, so uh, if you have a different uh, SXC version, uh, then uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, the UI might be a little different, okay? So, for the sake of this video, let's use this one. And uh, so, the first thing you need to do is for uh, you have to go to the QNAP uh, uh, QTS Cloud Download Center, uh, which you can easily find on Google. Just uh, search QTS Cloud Download and you will be, re you, you can see this link click on this link and you will be redirected to qts cloud download center and <clears throat> on the qts cloud do download center we uh, you will find a qts cloud dot uh, ovf set so currently it's not there uh, we'll uh, soon release it and you will be able to find it here okay so what you have to do is you have to download the Q qts cloud ovf set once you download it on your website uh, on your local machine or on your laptop the next thing you have to do is you have to open your uh, vmware okay so this is my vmware which i have already opened so let's get started and i'll show you how to create a virtual machine so first let's go to virtual machines and click on create and you have to click on this one register an existing oh sorry this one deploy a virtual machine from a ovf or ovf file okay so choose this option click next give it some name so let's call it uh, qts cloud demo and click on this and this is the this is the folder where i downloaded uh, i mean this is the folder that was downloaded from the website which i just showed you okay so uh, just uh, once you have downloaded this uh, folder you have to unzip this folder and in the in the unzipped folder there are three files vmdk file and ovf file and mf select all three of them and click on open okay so we need the vmdk and ovf file or <clears throat> all the three files in the zip file that you will download okay click on the next button okay <clears throat> you can skip this and just do next uh, make sure your network settings, uh, which network uh, settings are suitable for your uh, environment, okay? So I'm going to choose VM network because I want to make sure that the virtual machine which I create is accessible uh, with the public IP or any, I mean, depending on what your requirement for network settings is. So I'm going to choose this network for myself. Uh, I don't need to keep, uh, click on power on automatically. So you can click on next and click on finish. And that is how simple it is that's it that's that's really the steps that you have to do now the only thing you have to do is you have to attach a hard disk to it okay so this is our uh, virtual machine that we just created so what you can do is go on actions and click on edit settings and as i said in the settings we have to add one hard disk uh, one hard disk so uh, click on add hard disk and new standard hard disk and we suggest you add at least 200 GB storage disk and uh, just click on save and that's all and you are done. So our QTS cloud is uh, successfully deployed on VMware SXC and what you need to do is just click on this virtual machine that you have created and go to power on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So once you click on power on, you can click on this uh, on this thumbnail and this will actually open the console and you can see that the virtual machine is booting up here. Okay, so normally the boot up uh, takes uh, at least uh, two, three minutes uh, because this is opening for the very first time. Okay, so in the meantime, <clears throat> let me show you another uh, virtual machine which is already booted up and uh, I'll show you what how it looks like after it has booted up. So let me close this. And there's another uh, virtual machine I created using the same process, which is called new test. So when I <clears throat> open the console and you can see, once the virtual machine has successfully booted up, it'll take you to the login screen. So 
here you can see just above the login screen here just above this login you can see the lan ip here okay so the lan ip is 10 65 26 10 all you have to do is just go to your web browser and type the web ip 10 65 uh, 2610 uh, 26.10 and just click enter and that's it so your qts cloud is ready okay so this is how you can uh, reach to the web interface of qts cloud okay so this was the uh, virtual machine which i created uh, before let's see the virtual machine which we created just now whether it started or not yeah i think it successfully booted up and uh, uh, right now i cannot see ip address so let me let's wait uh, let me try to log in Uh, we can log in with the the mac address the mac address is on our screen and we can log in with the mac address and let me type if config and yeah so if if you cannot find the ip address before the login what you can do is you can log in uh, uh, into your machine the default uh, password is the mac address all capitals and without the colons okay so <clears throat> that is the mac uh, that is the default password so once i entered the default password you can see here i can see the ip address uh, here on the second line on the second on the second line i can see the ip address is 10652694 so let me open 10652694 so this is the new uh, virtual machine we just created and yeah so that's it so our, our our qts cloud is ready okay so this is the one we just created and uh, let me uh, close this console okay and yeah so this is our qts cloud demo virtual machine and uh, the ip address is there okay so please remember that uh, we will always uh, uh, in, in order to log into the console you always have to use the mac address as the default password mac address uh, with all uh, characters capital and remove the colons okay so that's how you uh, deploy a qts cloud on a vmware okay so as i mentioned before that we have used uh, uh, sxc version 60 i think just just a minute we have used sxc version 670 okay so i'm pretty sure that for the other versions also uh, the process will more or less be the same the only difference might be the um the user interface uh, could be a little different okay so uh, please note that in this uh, video tutorial we are just going to show you how to deploy on uh, uh, vmware sxc uh, how to initialize the qts cloud how to use how to, how to buy the license and how to generate the license key uh, those that are already covered in different set of uh, video tutorials and you can find the link in the description Okay, so thanks for watching and do let us know if there is any question or if there is any feedback or uh, if you want us to do uh, some other video or if you want us to uh, support some other particular platform for uh, on-premise hypervisors, uh, do, do let us know. Okay, so thank you. Thanks for watching.